In this video you will learn how to implement a model inside Angular without any additional libraries. And actually just from the beginning I want to tell you, if you just need a library and the model, you can take for example NGB Bootstrap for Angular, and here is the really nice model that I used in a lot of projects, or you can take a model from Angular Material. Both are perfectly fine, but if you want to build something yourself, which you understand completely and can support better, then here you will learn it. And the main problem with the models is that we want to render them inside body. Why inside body? Because if you will render a model just directly inside your component, it might be that you have overflow hidden or difference at index and this model just won't work. It will be cutted and then you won't see the whole model. This is why if you want to create a really reusable model, you must render it inside body. And it is not that trivial to do it inside Angular. Now let's look on the project that I prepared. As you can see here is generated project. I don't have anything inside app component except of this button open model. And here a completely empty app component. Additionally, I created a model module, but it is also completely empty. Here we have just a component and let's look on it. Inside HTML we have just a plain markup of model, model header, with close button, model content, model footer, and model backdrop, but this is just an HTML markup without any Angular logic. Additionally, I have model component CSS with quite a lot of CSS for our model, and you can take all the source codes from the description box below. And our TS file is completely empty. Now let's look how we want to use our model. So we want to be able to open it from any place and in order to do that we want to use a service. And the main problem here is that inside body of our model we want to render a custom template. This is the feature that you need in almost every model. This is not just a text but some markup with different components. This is why here inside our app component HTML we have a button and we want to make a click event on it. So this button must open a model. This is why here let's create a function open model. And inside I want to provide the markup that we want to render inside our model. And we must define this markup, for example, here with ng template. And we're using here ng template because this is something which won't be rendered and we can use it for later rendering. This is why here ng template with hash model template. And inside we can provide whatever you want, some markup, components, anything. I just want to write here a div with text, this is our custom model content. And now here we can use this model template and we can provide it inside our open model function. Which actually means we are providing inside ng template and then we can use this ng template to render a model with this content inside. Now let's open our app component and create this method here. It will be open model and inside we are getting model template. And this is a template reference of any because we don't really know what is the type of our template. And what we want to do inside, we want to call a model service. We will have a service which we can inject anywhere and it must create for us a model. This is why here we will write this dot model service dot open and we are providing inside our model template that we created. Additionally, here we can provide some options that might be useful. For example, the size of our model or a title. Let's define here size, for example, LG and also a title of our model, let's say foo. But it is not all, we also want to write here subscribe, which actually means our function model service open must return for us something which we can subscribe on. Why do we need that? Because we want to know when our model will be closed or submitted. This is why here we have subscribe and we will get here an action. And action is just a string, it is either closed or submitted. And here we want to console log what action it was. For example, model action, comma action. So this is the usage of our model service and this is exactly how we want to open model from any place. This is extremely flexible, we don't need to inject here model component at all. We just create inside HTML the template that we want, we provide it inside open model and we are good to go. Now we must create our model service. This is why inside model we are creating services folder. And here inside we have our model service.ts. And inside we must add injectable decorator. 
And here we are exporting our class, which is model service. And we know that inside we have a function open, and we are getting inside our content, which is a template reference of type any. And additionally to that, we can get options. And actually, this options property is optional. This is why here is question mark. And let's specify its type. Here we can get size, but it is also optional, and it is a string. And we can also get a title, and it is also optional, and it is a string. Now, inside our open model, the idea is to create our model component and then inject it inside body and render. Additionally to that, we must inject inside our component, inside ng content, the content that we provided here inside our open function. And in order to do that, we must inject several things inside our constructor. First of all, here we must inject resolver. And this is component factory resolver. So what we want to do here is create model component factory. And what is model component factory? It's a factory which knows how to create a model component. This is why here we're calling this dot resolver dot resolve component factory and we must provide inside our module. And our module is model component. After this, we want to create a content view. This is why here content view reference and this is content this is what we provided inside dot create embedded view and we're providing inside now and after this we want to create our model component this is why here i will write model component and in order to do that we're using model component factory dot create and inside our create we first of all must provide an injector and we don't have it here this is why here let's inject here our injector and this is injector. Now here inside create we are providing this dot injector. Actually this is completely fine and this is enough. But we also want to provide inside ng content the content that we passed inside our open function. This is why as a second parameter we must provide an array and inside it will be content view ref dot root nodes. And actually what is content view ref? This is exactly what we created from our content that we provided inside. This is exactly what will inject our template inside model inside model body. After this we want to call detect changes. This is why here model component dot host view dot detect changes. And after this we want to inject this DOM element inside our body. In order to do that we must access body here inside constructor. And we're doing it with the word inject and we're getting here our document and this is our private variable document of type document. Now here after detect changes we can write this dot document dot body and here we have just a plain html append child and we want to provide inside our model component dot location dot native element. This will attach our DOM element inside body. But now we are missing several things. We want somehow to provide string and title inside our model component. And as you can see here on the right, I am opening model component TS and we don't have here anything. So here I want to create several inputs. First of all, we need here an input for our size. This is why here let's define the size and by default it will be MD. Then we need an input for our title and by default I will write here model title and now we can set them when we are creating this model component. This is why here before detect changes I want to write model component dot instance and here we have access to our size and title. So I want to set our size to options dot size with question mark because it is optional and also model component dot instance dot title and here we have options dot title. So everything is optional here. This is why we're getting an error. String or undefined is not assignable to type string because here on the right we didn't say that they are optional. I want to do this now because anyway we have a default value. This is why here size is optional and title is optional. And now we are not getting any errors here. We are almost done, but we need some outputs for the closing and submitting. This is why here on the right, I want to define our outputs. So let's create an output and it will be our close event. And this is just new event emitter. Additionally, we need an output, which is our submit event. And this is also new event emitter. Now here on the left we can subscribe to these events. This is by here model component dot instance and we have access to close event 
and we can just write here subscribe and when it happens we can do something here and what i want to do i want to call this dot close model and this is just a function and we will create it in a second and additionally to that i want to define not close event but submit event and here we will call over this dot submit model now here on the bottom i want to create close model function and submit model function but just to remind you our open function must return something where we can call subscribe this is exactly how we used our service this is why here after a pen child what i want to do i want to create a subject i want to write here this dot model notifier and i'm assigning here new subject now i need to create this model notifier which is a subject here on the top so before our constructor i will define a private model notifier with question mark because by default it will be empty and here we are defining that this is a subject with a string inside and after we created here our new subject we want to return it with this model notifier dot as observable so what it does here at the end of our open what we do we create a new subject and we return it as observable in this case we can subscribe to this subject and when this subject triggers something we will notify all our subscribers and what we want to do here we want to write some logic regarding this subject in the close and submit because in both cases we want to stop our subject this is why here inside close model i will write this model notifier dot complete we don't need it anymore this is why we are completing it and inside our submit model i want to write this model notifier dot next in this case we want to pass a value inside here we want to pass for example confirm and after this we want to complete it this is why this close model is enough here so in this case we will notify all subscribers that we are completed and we don't need to listen to new values now let's update our model a little bit i want to open here our html and on the right our model component here we have access to the size and the title and we can use them inside our markup first of all here inside our model we can add a size property in this case inside our class we will have a size and we can apply some styles for it additionally here goes title is really bad we need to render here our title that we will get from the outside or set as default additionally here we must create a click event for our cross and it will be our close also we want exactly the same click event on our backdrop because when we are clicking outside of the model we want to close it this is why here is also close and last but not least is our submitting inside the footer here is our submit button here is our click event and we want to call a function which will be submit and as you can see the content that i was talking about that we're providing from the outside is going here inside ng content now let's define these two functions close and submit but in order to do that we must get access to our element this is why inside our constructor i want to get an element reference and this is our element ref now let's create first of all close here we want to return void and what we want to do we want to remove our element completely this is why here this element ref dot native element dot remove this is just plain javascript to remove a dom node after this we want to call close event this is why this close event emit now let's define our submit function here it returns void and what we want to do inside we want to remove an element exactly like in close and after this we want to call this submit event dot emit and we are not providing anything here so how it is working we have our model component it is rendered at some point we are clicking close or submit and this emits are going back to our service just to remind you inside our service we have these subscriptions and when these events are triggered inside our component we are coming here for close and submit and we are coming here to close our notifier now let's check if it's working i will jump back inside our app component and here is our model service we must inject it this is by constructor and we are getting here our model service which is our model service that we just created additionally we must register our model service inside our model module this is why here inside our providers i want to register model service 
So once again what is happening, we are inside app component, we injected here model service and we have our open model function. We are calling here this service open and we are providing a template inside and some properties. And here we have a subscribe, which is exactly a subscribe for our subject to know when we are submitting our model. At this moment we are coming to our model service and we are doing all this stuff to create a component, inject inside its content, inject its inputs and outputs, detect changes and attach it to our body. Let's look in browser now. As you can see here I have an open model button, I am clicking on it and voila we see our model. Here is our backdrop so we can close our model and here we have a title and this title was provided from outside. Here is our custom content and it can be any content, we have submit button and close. If I am clicking anywhere, our model is just closed, we are not notified about it. When I am opening a model and I am clicking on submit, then as you can see inside console we are getting model action confirm. In this case we know that we successfully submitted our model. And actually if you are interested to know what are standalone components inside Angular and how to use them, make sure to check this video also.